Hello everyone, today I'm going to do a quick guide of uh, how to fix your uh, Hubson uh, range issues when uh, using the advanced controller or the FPV1 uh, transmitter. Uh, there is a known problem that uh, a large number of uh, Hubson quadcopters suffer from a very short range, something like uh, 100 meters only, or they have uh, control issues, the drone will stop in the air, it will slowly rotate into a direction you are not actually want to it to rotate. Uh, it will stop advancing. It will enter automatic return to home. A lot of weird stuff, and uh, it will uh, not go uh, at uh, great distances. Well, uh, with uh, this transmitter, uh, after I have uh, fixed uh, that issue, I can go up to. Uh, I have tested actually uh, up to one kilometer with my H109 and uh, probably it will go even further uh, than that but one kilometer for me it's uh, uh, relatively enough so I'm just going to show you how to fix it uh, that is very easy to do so uh, let's start first you are going to take out the battery you don't want to have a battery installed to avoid any kind of troubles then you are going to remove these four plugs here one in each corner and now you are going to use a screwdriver, of course. And after all the four screws are off, you are gently going to try to lift the bottom part of the transmitter but you are not going to take it out completely because it has some wires that are still attached inside to the circuit board so you are just going to do like this and now you are going to unplug the battery connector here and this is the GPS antenna for the follow me function which you are also going to gently disconnect from the motherboard and now I can put this aside and what goes faulty inside uh, is not the transmitter itself or uh, its uh, circuit board but the problem is this pigtail or this pigtail one is for FPV and one is for uh, uh, transmission of uh, controls so this uh, is the control interface and this is the FPV receiver and uh, when you have range problem it's of course this pigtail so I have a faulty pigtail here uh, which was taken from uh, this uh, remote this has another pigtail it's already changed and I'm going to show you what the trouble is with the uh, original one so you can measure and check yours you need a multi-tester and you are going to select resistance or diode test or beeper test as you can see and you need to check the following first the outside of the antenna must have connectivity with the outside of the connector if it beeps and it has zero on the display that it means it has connectivity then you must check the middle of this connector let's see if the camera can focus you can see it has a very small metal ring inside that must be in contact with the middle pin here so you need to check co that connectivity also so I'm going to just to poke it here and with some care I'm going to touch the middle part here and there is no connectivity as you can see you can also check it for short circuit uh, by checking the middle together with the outside so if it does not beep then it's not in short circuit but the main problem here is that the middle of this will not have a closed circuit with the middle of this so that means the transmitter will actually not output the signal to the antenna so you have an external antenna for nothing it will only work with a piece of wire like this and you get a very limited range to fix the problem you are going to need a replacement uh, uh, pigtail and uh, you can get uh, these uh, pigtails very cheap online. I'm going to add some links for uh, 
uh, each of them for the FPV one and the uh, transmission uh, control transmission one because they are different one it's a uh, male and uh, the other is uh, female and they also are reverse polarity so it's a uh, reversed reversed and uh, you are going to need one of each type if you want to change both of them one has a uh, middle pin the other has a hole that's the difference between them and uh, to exchange it uh, is very simple this uh, tiny connector here you need to keep the board and not force it and uh, you just wiggle and up lift it a bit and it will spring out just like that and it's disconnected and uh, now with the uh, uh, pliers or something like that you are going to unscrew this and uh, take it on uh, the back of uh, here uh, you may need to uh, untighten these two switches here and uh, make some uh, space for the board uh, to uh, move it uh, around a bit so you can take this connector out and then insert the new connector in tighten the screws, tighten the buttons here and uh, at the end you just push the tiny connector with great care here and that's it you are going to have full range of your uh, transmitter now and you can go to a long long range with it after that operation you need to put uh, the cap back uh, take care when you are plugging back the connectors especially the GPS antenna one because it's more fragile uh, you may don't have a GPS receiver on your transmitter if you do not have a follow mode on it there are variations of uh, this transmitter but they all have the same range problem so they all get the same fix and now you are going to plug the battery connector here take care as it only has one position it enters in don't force it they need to go inside nicely check that no other wire is sticking out on the side of the transmitter so it doesn't get crushed when you are going to close this just put it like it should and then move the switches a bit on both sides to see if there is no wire that has catched the levers inside so mine is free of tangle and now you can put the screws back tighten them not to lose them but don't force them because it's plastic you don't need to apply too much force you can see I have a joke of a screwdriver just so that I don't have enough power to destroy the screws or the threads just don't forget to put the screws back and now you are going to put the rubber caps they all are the same they only have a different position in, in which they enter they have a small notch here and here so they should align with that otherwise they won't fit inside flash and nice and all the caps are back and I'm ready to rock and roll now